A new staffing company has opened its doors to help people recovering from addiction get back to work. Compass Rose Staffing has been open since April and since then has been placing people committed to recovery in volunteer positions with the goal of getting that, them back into the workforce. The program is built on regular drug testing and counseling services. Right now, Compass Rose Staffing works with five volunteer-based organizations but is looking for local businesses to work with. 23, Aaron, 23 ABC's Aaron Briscoe met one woman who is getting a second chance thanks to this unique program. I have gotten on a ladder and all of these fans I have dusted. There isn't a corner of the Vanguard Community Center that Amanda Nix hasn't tackled. I make sure everything's clean and dusted. Nix volunteers at the center a few days a week. It's a stop on her journey to recovery from alcohol addiction. I picked up drinking as a habit after work. It eventually just became a habit that rolled over from night into my days and it became every day. Then last year, Nix lost her job and went to jail. In recovery, there's steps. You know, you get sober and you start developing back into life. And from there, there's that one missing puzzle piece. And that's finding a job. So Nix turned to Compass Row Staffing to help her get back to work. We're looking at giving second chances and helping to rebuild, rebuild uh, folks, uh, rebuild their, their work history and get them out and get them employed, get them independent. It's a program where clients are drug tested regularly and go through counseling. And like Nick's, they're placed in a volunteer position and eventually placed in a permanent job. Compass Rose Staffing says they're in the business of second chances and now they're hoping that the community gives them a chance. I thought it would be a win-win situation relationship. Pastor Denny Watson says when he got a call from Compass Rose Staffing, he knew he had to work with them. We're helping others and then they're also helping us. As for Nix, she says it feels good to know that somebody believes in her again. This second chance may be the beginning of my new life. In East Bakersfield, Aaron Briscoe, 23 ABC.